This video shows how to make a small mantlet suitable for a miniature to hide behind, using the shelves and cupboards textures from Crooked Staff Terrain, linked below. Cut a piece of thick cardboard. This is called Graphics Medium Chipboard, and anyone familiar with Wylock's Armoury will have heard of it, but similar cardboards can be found on the back of pants. It is one and a half inch tall, and five boards across. This should be approximately a quarter inch per board, but make sure of your measurements. Though I'm mostly using this thick cardboard due to it being easier for many things in the build, and makes the end result stronger, the earlier prototypes used thin cardboard or thin single corrugated cardboard, so you can use that instead. Cut a piece of the plank texture that is 5 planks wide and long enough to fold over the chipboard. This should be a bit over 3 inches long. Glue the texture to the chipboard with a glue stick and put it aside to dry. You can cut the texture slightly longer than needed, then trim off the excess after you've stuck it to the cardboard. Cut a single plank of the texture, then stick it to either a piece of thin cardboard or the chipboard. Stick a piece of the plank texture about 2 inches long by 1.5 inches high to the card, folding over the shorter length so that it equally covers each side. Cut a piece of cardboard one plank wide. Stick a single plank of texture to it, folding it over so it sticks on each side. You want at least two and a half inches of double sided texture. Glue a 3 quarter inch wide piece of the ordinary wood texture around a cocktail stick.
Now everything is dry, start with the front of the mantlet. Mark a hole on this, one plank wide in the central plank, starting 3 eighths of an inch below the top and 3 eighths of an inch long. Cut this out carefully with something like an X-Acto knife using multiple passes. Cut holes for the wheels at the bottom. Make them wide enough for the cardboard being used for the wheels and one quarter of an inch high. Position them one plank in from the edge with a hole coming from the second plank. From the cardboard with plank texture on one side, cut two one half inch lengths and one one inch length. Stick the 1 half inch lengths 1 16th of an inch above and below the hole on what is now the front of the mantlet, making sure they are centralised. Cut a 1 inch length of the same plank texture, then cut this length in half. Stick the half 1 quarter of an inch below the hole on the rear. Stick the 1 inch length on the back 1, 1 16th of an inch above the hole, again centralising it.
With the doubled over texture on the cardboard, using scissors cut out two wheels each 7 16 of an inch in diameter and one semicircle one quarter of an inch long and two planks wide. Glue the wheels into the two holes, I'm using tacky glue here, and leave them to dry. Cut three pieces from the cardboard with the plank texture on one side, measuring the three pieces so that they fit between the gaps between the wheels on the back of the mantlet. Glue them into place, even with the bottom. Using tacky glue again, glue the semicircle in the middle of the middle section at the back of the mantlet. Cut the cardboard that has plank texture on both sides into two lengths, one one inches long and one one and a half inches long. Using tacky glue, glue the long plank horizontally from the back of the mantlet, resting it on top of the semicircle. Glue the short plank on at an angle, 
joining the main body of the mantlet above the narrow plank on the rear, then join it to the longer plank. Once that's dry, using tacky glue again, glue the cocktail stick with the wood texture wrapped around it to the end of the long plank, putting it at the top at the back. An alternative is to make this from stone. This one has been done using the stone texture from the pillars PDF, link below. If using a stone texture, you wouldn't be measuring by planks, but by widths, which in most cases should be about six to seven millimeters. Want to help support the channel? Then please like, comment, subscribe, share, join our Patreon, or buying through the Amazon or drive through links below helps support the channel at no cost to you.